it was hard, you know, especially seeing, especially seeing, um, you know, my team going out there, you know, I can play, you know, um, but it wasn't like I was, I was questionable, you know, it was just a game time decision, and if I, if they needed me for emergency reasons, I'll play, but you know, it was hard, you know, knowing seeing the offense struggle, you know, we only had a couple rushing yards, so it was hard for me just to sit there and watch that. How are you feeling physically? Do you expect to play Thursday night? There is no expectation. I'm playing. 100 percent, you know. Excuse this little machine right here, but 100 um, percent, I'm ready to go. You saw them struggle. What does that say about your role? It's not about me, but I know, you know, I play a big role in the offense. But you know, you gotta have other people step up when you know somebody falls. Like last year, when DJ, when DJ was aching last year. Somebody had to step up. You know, I stepped up and continued to do what I had to do in the role for the offense. You know, so I went down. Somebody had to step up. That's that's just that. Tell me about the Oregon uh, run defense. Looks like uh, maybe pretty similar to Utah. What are you seeing on film from them? Uh, big, big and lengthy. You know, usual Oregon. You know, long, tall. You know, athletic. They're good defense. You know, they got a lot of good players, but. We're ready for it, ready for whatever. What's the what's the mood of the team right now? I mean, uh, you know, having uh, you know a loss at Utah and having the bye week, do you really to think about it extra? I mean, how, how do you feel the team is doing right now mentally? We worried about Oregon. We not worried about nothing else. We were we ain't even worried about Oregon. We worried about ourselves. You know, We're trying to get back, trying to get back to uh, ourselves. You know what we what we've been doing. You know what the coach has been doing for three to four years. Getting back to our regular our regular selves. You know, fast tempo offense. You know the defense. He coach Grams, man. So. That's what we're just trying to do. And I'm not, I'm not saying you're just worried about yourself, but you see all those crazy scores uh, yesterday in the Pac-12. Does that can it give, it, give it kind of hope that this season is far from over? It's far from over. Five games left, you know. We're ready, though. We're ready for whatever, you know. So, Coach Graham caught it in a meeting. Utah's going to lose. Utah's going to lose to SC. You know, I didn't think it was going to be by that much, but mm -hmm. both both teams played a good game, you know, but defense, uh, but Utah came out kind of sloppy, so you can, that shows you you can't come out sloppy in the Pac-12 because every every team in the Pac-12 is good. Does uh, Coach Graham have any other plays this weekend for uh, calling plays? You said what? Does he have any other plays this weekend for uh, calling upsets? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out probably uh, Wednesday. You know, Coach Graham, you know, be just throwing them out. I don't be believing them sometimes, but... You see, I tweeted out yesterday, oh my God, Coach Graham, you were right. So, I mean, whatever whatever it is, I mean, I'm with him. I'm riding with him. I'm riding with him to the, to the day we go down. I'm riding with him. Did you do anything else with your time off? Uh, we didn't even have a time off, no bye week. We practiced for three days and we watched film. So, I mean, it wasn't technically a bye week. You know, we just out here grinding, you know, trying to get back to our regular self.